we came across this study entitled Information and Communication Technology Use in Philippine Public and Private Schools by Maria Mercedes Rodrigo of the Ateneo University. This study uh, gave a very comprehensive picture of the state of ICT in the Philippines. It concludes developing countries such as the Philippines are committed to infusing schools with ICT. There is great faith that these technologies will improve teaching and learning and consequently afford these countries a greater stake in today's knowledge society. Consequently, the Philippine government and the private sector have initiated programs to provide schools with computer hardware and software, internet connectivity, and teacher training. However, considerable gap still exists in ICT program implementations. There is a lack of data on schools' use of ICT. Hence, there is little basis for policy formulation. There is a lack of coordination between public and private sector resources. Finally, there is a need for further teacher training in both computer literacy and ICT integration in the curriculum. These gaps must be sufficiently addressed before ICT can have a significant impact on teaching and learning in Philippine schools. Educational technology in China started to develop in 1978. A big leap in the progress of educational technology took place in 1997 when the Ministry of Education selected 1,000 schools as the, as the experimental schools for modern educational technology. These schools are aimed to take good advantage of modern educational technology to reform the fundamental education. It turned out that the overall qualities of education in primary and secondary schools are very satisfactory. Nowadays, Computer has become the supplementary teaching equipment for many schools in urban areas of China. Multimedia computers and campus network have been installed in most of the universities, colleges, and high schools in We came across this UK report entitled, China's Lesson, Why the West Was Wrong to Abandon Chalk and Talk Teaching Method. This is an eye-opener to all of us. It tells about how China favors the chalk and talk approach, which is being phased out by the Western countries. It seems that this traditional approach is more effective as evidenced by China's success. Finally, we end this presentation with a simple diagram to show the comparison of EdTech ICT Philippines against China. The arrow that curves up represents the Philippines' effort to put in all the necessary elements to, to fully implement ICT. The arrow curving down represents China's ICT being already placed, but they are moving towards going back to traditional